Hello and welcome to Touch Whistle! Here at our super secret HQ beneath the Sockman statue, we use the advanced technologies and sexual innuendo to review Touch Word. I am Captain Jack Therandius, the handsome one. I am joined this week by my sidekick, Gwen the Leak. Hello, Captain Jack. Oh, I'm never so conflicted. Okay, I'm sure you are. Now, the new season! Hooray! We're the same old team, plus Spike over Buffy! Gwen, what were the high points of the episode for you? Oh, it would have to be my Reese. What? Nothing else? Not the pointless team walking in a triangle? Or the mysterious pyramid prop from Smallville? Oh, what about the risible use of bar reunion for Captain's heart and Harkness? Oh no, just having my Reese in the episode was nice, Captain Grandinus. Well, I like the blowfish. I call him Hooty. I do hope he'll be back for later shows, perhaps as a team member to replace Iantho. Wasn't he dead early on in the episode? Oh, that's never been a problem for the Torchwood team. Ha ha! Well, has that been a problem for Torchwood? I mean, he didn't look like the battered offspring of Dalek Sek in a deep one, but hey, I still liked him. Now then, low points of the episode, and oh, weren't there so many? Oh, you're not talking about the stupid blue lights in the torture mobile, are you, Captain Randiness? Yes. Yes, I am. Also, I know Christmas is over now, but uh, who decided to dress Spike as a little drummer boy, eh? I bet he didn't see that coming in his contract. Get over yourself, Captain. John Hart was the best thing in this episode. After my Reese. Oh, yes, yeah, true, true, true. John and Jack, they were the high spot, particularly the dialogue between them. Hmm, which raises a question for Randy. Do time agents only pursue mysterious canisters through space and time? And do they all have the initials J.H.? Why do you expect me to know? Oh, you know, I just assume since you were serving up great big chunks of exposition this week. I mean, almost like you were talking to the slower viewers. Oh well, now, as is our custom, finally we turn to our painted Toshometer. And it's Keeper, Ayanto or the T-Boy. Don't see why I have to be Ayanto. Well, you know, we looked at your resume, and you're the only one coming up to do it, okay? So, <laughs> uh, Mr. T-Boy, uh, what does the Touch Weezer and the Touch Amateur say about this episode? I'm glad you asked. We read this episode as uh, Toshtastic. As you can see, it could have been much, much worse. Well, uh, her reviews of the blue, gluey Torchwood tricot and solved all her problems nearly pushed it up a grade. However, the possibility of a Tosh Owen Union raised uh, the episode up from the baseline. Not at all, Tosh. Well, thank you, T Boy. I'm sure we can look forward to orders more Tosh from future episodes of Torchwood. So, overall we have a red herring obna, the little drummer vampire who could, plenty of boy-on-boy -boy action as usual, and of course, lots of pointless formation strutting to semi-cool music. I like walking in formation. So do I. You would. Anywho, that's it for us with, until next week. My thanks to my guests, and keep watching the sewers. You'll never know what's going to pop up.